Welcome to the show! <laughs> this guy got a mistletoe belt on! Gosh, that is bad. The whole plane smells like weed. Those were the days. It's a joke, you idiot! Looked in the mirror, I'm like, <laughs> Good old innocent fun. Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to Troublemakers, the podcast where each week we bring on a guest and they tell crazy stories about their lives. I'm your host, Dylan Krasinski, coming to you from a okay day in Brooklyn. You know, things are great. Things are great. Two weeks when this comes out, they will be great. Uh, <laughs> with me, as always, is my indispensable co-host, the big dog, everybody, Mr. Ray Zawadney. Hey, thank you so much, Dylan. Yes, that was take two on our intro. Those of you who don't know that because we're going to edit the beginning part out, but Dylan kind of struggled to uh, spit the words out. But it is another Wednesday, so that means another new episode of Troublemakers Podcast where you could find full video episodes on our YouTube channel as well as all the shorts and the and the clips from our show. And you can listen to us on Spotify and Apple Pods. And if you are on one of those uh, two streaming platforms, make sure to give us a rating review, five stars, nothing less. And if you're even thinking thinking for a second about not giving us five stars, I recommend that you fucking not only cancel the app, but cancel your fucking phone plan because you're a loser and you don't deserve to have any communication with the outside world. Uh, we have a very special <laughs> guest on today. Uh, without, without, uh, without further ado, let's get to our, our special guest, the hilarious El Orlando, everybody. Oh. Hell yeah. Good. That rocks. Hey, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's about as high tech as we get around it's very here. Very cool. Really. Hi, what's up? Thanks for having me. Thanks oh. for doing it. How you doing? You know, pretty good. You know, I, I've never gotten off this stop before the Wilson. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, everyone knows where you live now, but oh. the, the, um, how you say rats right? graveyard oh. is really oh. nice. Yeah. It's really peaceful. It is nice. It's and huge. It's fucking huge. Yeah. It's, it's kind of cool. Do you guys like. Graves, no, but I knew kids that would party in graveyards growing oh, up. Oh, that's kind of disrespectful. Oh, for sure. It's but also frightening. Yeah, like I feel Spooky. like you would get like haunted. Yeah, for sure. Wow. I've, I've never like that to party. I just want to like hang out in them, you know? Are you, uh, were you a great, are you a graveyard person? I just, I, I think they're relaxing. Really? Yeah, because it's nice and quiet. Okay. <laughs> so you'll take a walk through a graveyard? Yeah, if I can. Even if you don't know anybody there? No, I mean, I f that's what I feel bad about. But I'm like, I'm not like harassing you guys. I just want to like chill with you guys. That's kind of <laughs> nice. That's kind of that's nice. cool, actually, because it's not, <laughs> yeah, you're not like going over to kick over stones or. No, I'm just I'm, I just like the quietness. Okay. Like, Listen, it's nice, but if anybody like ever asked you, they're like, "Hey, uh, it's like going to a Chuck E. Cheese without a kid." <laughs> you know? <laughs> they're like, "Hey, what are you what are you doing here?" And you're just like. I just like the sights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the the dating profile is like long walks through the graveyard. It's like what the, <laughs> what the hell? No, you should put that. You should put on a dating app. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think I would ever like actually tell someone that, <laughs> <laughs> except for on a podcast. But you know, hey, here we are. Uh, I do. I did. I did know someone. I was like, I was like, actually, I don't remember who it was. It could have been this girl I was like going on a couple dates with. She lived around here too, and she was like, oh yeah, I just like to like sit up. And just look at the graveyard. Like, I don't <laughs> even like, get on the train. She's like, I just sit up here and watch. And I was like, yeah, okay, all right. That's way Sick. creepier. What? You're fucking possessed? She's that's like, I just like to look at the sights. Yeah. I was I like, just, okay. Whoa. Great. That's weird. You. I, it's like she's like fantasizing about it. Yeah, she's picking out her plot. She's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I would like to be right there between the oak and the <laughs> pile of trash. You, are you somebody that this is, this is fucking, we're getting morbid pretty quick, but will you like visit a family member that's in a graveyard still? Like, do people I, still do that? I don't have any. I think this is why I like graveyards because I don't, I, okay, my grandpa just died like a couple years ago, but like I don't have anyone to visit. So it's like, it's not kind of fair if I don't, like I would love to go. Yeah, visit someone, but I just don't have anyone to visit. You know, oh. <laughs> I'll find you some. I'll get you some people to go visit. <laughs> oh man, well, the Z Wadneys, we're all burned up. We we get cremated. Really? Yeah, we're a big cremation family. My dad, when he uh, before he died, R.I.P. He R.I.P. Paul. He um he told my brother. He was like, "Hey, when I go, I got a thousand dollars in my safe. I want to be cremated by the three hot ladies." <laughs> I'm like, what? what? And I'm thinking it's like this thing, like where it's like these like three like smoking hot chicks like do the cremation service and it's something with some like something that's sexual in nature, but I should have known better that it was my father. And when I find out what it is, it's just three women that own a mortuary that had a commercial. 
And he was like, I want to be, I want to be burned by the three hot chicks. <laughs> <laughs> that is not even meeting your dad, but all the stories you tell, yeah. nothing could describe yeah. him yeah. more perfectly. Yeah. And we didn't do it because he didn't leave a thousand dollars in his safe. He lied. Oh. <laughs> there wasn't any money in there. What'd you do in the just the backyard? No, no, yeah, we threw him in a dumpster <laughs> and just fucking got some gasoline. No, we we did it through like a like a regular funeral home where oh, they okay. burned him up. But like, yeah, that's that's all he wanted. He was like, I don't want anybody seeing me. I just want these three hot chicks. And they like they weren't. They were like, oh, they were like just. Women. Okay, like, like he had like, bad yeah. taste in women too. No, no, no but I mean, he they, saw the commercial in the '90s, and yeah. then he's like, ah, they're not the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was thinking it was going to be like this, like Hooters, like yeah. sexy commercial, yeah. like, like come it's a part on of down, the gimmick. yeah, 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 like playing like pour some sugar on me, like in the in the fucking music of the commercial. <laughs> uh, dude, I used to. You know what I just saw? I just I used to be. I used to have this fear of being like buried when I was a kid. I was like, buried I had alive. yeah, buried yeah. alive, like waking up in a coffin. I remember like being like ten and being like asking my mom, being like, Well, how do they know when they're dead? Like, oh. what if you wake up underground? She was like, Okay, you're ten. You don't yeah, need to think yeah, about this. Yeah. <laughs> and I was I like, think, Fair. That's like a common like fear, but I never thought about that. I feel like I would just like kill Bill my way out. You know? Oh Probably. shit! Just a little bit, like what uh, one inch punch? One inch punch. I watched Kill Bill once. <laughs> I'm prepared. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. And like, who's? Oh, you think you're gonna die, but not really die? Yeah. Oh. Because I I think I I remember reading some stories about like guys before they had advanced science like in like the early oh. like 16 1700s yeah they would find like grave robbers would find like scratch right yeah oh, I remember shit. Learning yeah about this. because they would like be dead they thought they were dead but they actually weren't and then they would wake up <laughs> underground well yeah i think we also have like Nightmare. technology to like tell yeah. like is are they dead or alive or just sleeping Did they I mean, <laughs> the real answer is you know my mom's not going to tell like an eight year old this but it's like well you get an autopsy they cut you open they pull your organs out and they yeah. fill you with mm-hmm. formaldehyde if mm-hmm. you weren't dead before you're dead now yeah yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Right. yeah that is true that is a good point so that yeah. made me feel better <laughs> it's true it's true i also just read uh, again this is a very morbid I episode to start. oh sorry no hey i just read that when they cremate animals yeah that um they uh that it's just like mixed Mixed what? Like you, you think you bring your dog to get cremated? It's a little bit, of and like cat. you get your dog and you like bury him or whatever, yeah. bury the cremation. Yeah. But they like group cremate at the old uh, <laughs> pet doctor for like a discount, I guess. Dude. That, it's so funny. So, so you get a little like bit a- of your dog, a little bit of someone else's cat. Wow, you know? dude. No, my dog's in my yard. We married. Yeah, well, because it got ripped to shreds by a coyote. So. Yeah, so Wait. I mean, she was a bitch. I don't really feel bad, but <laughs> Wait, I thought you were you were you're from Chicago? Yeah. And there's just coyotes running around? Oh Chicago? yeah. Well, I I live I'm from the suburbs, right? Okay. So we live next to a field. Like my house is next to a huge field, and all of our dogs would get murdered by coyotes, which was sad, but my one dog, she was a fucking bitch and she would just like she she was she was <laughs> supposed to be put down like two times because she would attack people. And they would have to get stitches and shit. And I hated, everyone hated Maddie. Maddie fucking sucked. But my dad liked her. And one day she's gone. My dad can't even find her. He goes out in the field. He comes back with just her head. Oh my God. And he's like crying. And I'm like, fuck that bitch. (laughs) I'm like, that's what happens when you fuck with me, bitch. Just was it actually head. was it actually you in the field or was it the coyotes? <laughs> it was the coyotes. No. It was it was the coyotes. But she would like she would come in my room and she would like sit in the corner and just like growl at me. And if I tried to leave, she'd try to bite me. And so she would like she had like crazy power issues. What kind of dog? A Bashan. What is that? It's like a, a small, white, a uh, Bichon Fries. Yes, <laughs> Bichon Fries. Okay, Ray. I'm sorry, I'm cultured. <laughs> okay, I did. Those dogs are usually pretty cute. It's a cute dog. I know something fucked up happened in her childhood. <laughs> <laughs> her trauma really forced her to yeah. act out. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. That is funny how you reacted. My cousin, um, my cousin's dog. They had this dog for years, and yeah. this dog's, you know, it finally died. Like. Six months ago, maybe a year ago. Yeah. And um, they have a, a little girl. She's like five or six, maybe. Um, I guess my niece, second, co- 
cousin niece? I don't know. My cousin's niece. What is that? Some, uh, my cousin's, cousson's daughter. Is somebody niece. that you're not really related <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just like a, second cousin, maybe. Uh, whatever. So their daughter <laughs> is like six years far old. Far enough. You and, know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, my cousin is like, yuck. <laughs> He's riding past it. <laughs> I know, and I don't want to let you stop. Yeah. Sorry. Go on. So this dog, they've had this dog for like 20 years. Like yeah. long. Like yeah. the dog was, you know, like it just always <laughs> smell. It just smells like shit, you know, like dying, you know, yeah. his teeth are rotting. So the dog finally dies, okay? Yep. And uh, my cousin picks up uh, her daughter from school, and she's like, you know, I got to tell you, um, the dog died and my my cousin's husband was like very upset, you know, like mm-hmm. was like crying and everything. And uh, she's expecting her daughter to, you know, be upset. And she's like, um, so, yeah, he's not going to be there. He went to heaven. And uh, she goes, oh, does that mean we can get rid of his bed? It smells. <laughs> <laughs> and my cousin was like. Yeah, maybe can we wait until your dad starts stops sobbing yeah. in the kitchen? Yeah, wow, what a little psycho. And then, like, got home and would be like, oh, this is Winston's. We can throw it away. Oh, <laughs> brutal, Like dude. little toys, like, under oh the... Oh, my God. So she just hated the dog. Probably was just kind of like, that's very type A energy. Like, it smells. Let's get rid of Time it. Time to go. Time to go. I, yeah, I mean, maybe that little girl killed it. She had a motive. <laughs> she had a motive. I guess I did too, but no, it was really coyotes. Yeah. Coyotes. That's wild. I know. Um, but, yeah, w- we have one dog alive, so that's good. Well, for now. But yeah, we like this dog. We love, mo- yeah, Shador. You, you moved out. That's yeah. why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh no. This one is nice. It, it's uh we got it from a place called Lamb's Farm. It w- is this um farm where a bunch of Down syndrome people take care of puppies, and you they work there full time and they do the cash register I and love they that. and, and that you're sounds like, like the happiest place on the planet. It, the, it's so cool, and you're like you go in and I don't know. They just let you do whatever you want there. They love rock, that. yeah. My entire Instagram algorithm is just like people with Down syndrome doing things. Yeah. Doesn't matter what. Cooking, baking. Yeah. You're just like. Oh, you're it's talking about. Wow. My algorithm has just become that. Every every like 10th video, it's someone with Down syndrome cooking. Because you were hanging out with Jack Burke. I know. That's, that's it. That's, yeah. that's, that's all he cute. watches. For a long time, we were just sending. Even like dancing. Yeah. Like dancing. You They're know? just so happy. Have you seen the, the one guy who um, admits on a Zoom? He's like on a like a Twitch stream and he talks about how he's uh, he's has Down syndrome and he talks about how he sent dick pics to like a bunch of <laughs> underage women. <laughs> Dude, that it's the rocks. best video. <laughs> <laughs> that rocks so hard that they get to be the only person type of people in the world that get to do that shit. Like he was he was all like bets are off. he was terrified. He was like it, it, and then the whole thing, it, people stitched it together and it shows him dancing without a shirt on. <laughs> and it's, it's you either live long enough, uh, you, you die quick enough to become the hero or live long enough to become the villain. <laughs> and it, it's him dancing without a shirt on and then him like crying him like, I sent my dick to underage girls. <laughs> Don't clip that. <laughs> Please, that's the clip. I can't, I that's can't wait to clip. send you the timestamps for this. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be an all exclamation point <laughs> after it. Wow. So, like, you can't, you basically can't get arrested if you're, like, Down syndrome and you do anything, right? Uh, I think you can. You can? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. It'd, it'd be sad to see somebody with Down syndrome just in prison. He'd get picked on, I bet. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I Maybe the opposite. You would, I, I don't think they can go to prison. I, I've never sure. thought about this. This is a good question. I think, well, there is some competency issues potentially where you'd have to like, is someone like given the age, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're asking hard hitting questions. You know what? Can somebody with Down syndrome go to prison? Keep keep talking. We're going to look it up. Well, while we're doing that, have you, have you ever been arrested for anything? Yeah. Um, Really? Yeah. It was like, so essentially I, um, I, I got a drinking ticket at college um, and that I deserved that for sure. And cause I was just like drinking at a football game, like in public, like w- not around anyone and undercover cops were like, how old are you? Whatever. And so I get this ticket and then they, um, they're like, okay, here's your court date. And then, uh, I got the flu and I couldn't, I like couldn't move. It was like the worst flu I ever got. 
And then, so I called them. I'm like, I can't come to court. Like, I have the flu. I can't move. And she's like, okay, keep your phone on. We're going to call you to reschedule. They never call me to reschedule. She's like, don't call us. We'll call you. Never calls. I'm in a car. I'm hammered. The driver is not drunk, but he, like, swerves around a cop car. Okay. Like, making himself look drunk. The cop pulls him over, takes my ID, and asks me to get out of the car. I th- I'm, like, absolutely, like, very hammered. Uh. And I'm in the back, though, and she's like, there's a warrant out for your arrest. Uh. And oh. Yeah, because that's what happens if you don't show up to yeah. the court. A yeah. warrant goes out. And um, I was like... All, all fucked up. And she's like, are you drunk right now? I was like, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, breathalyze me. They handcuff me. They pu- she's like, do you have your phone on you? And I was like, no, I don't, I don't have a phone. Like, I've never had a phone in my life. It's in my back pocket. And she, <laughs> she puts me in the back of her police car. And then I get my phone. I'm like, all handcuffed up. I call my mom on speaker. I'm like, mom, mom, I've been arrested. Help me. <laughs> That's kind of a badass then, move to be able to call in the cuffs. <laughs> and then this fucking, this uh, female officer hears me. She tackles me in the back of the car. She grabs my phone. She's like, you fucking say you didn't have our cell phone. You lied to me. And she's like, I could beat your ass. And I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> I was like, are you gay? Get the fuck off me. Like, uh, <laughs> Rape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And so, and so then, and so essentially, and then the, the drunk take was all filled up. So she's like, you can't go to the drunk take. We have to put you in like a jail cell. Like, so I had to go to like in an actual, like, I don't know, whatever is the next step up from drunk take, like jail kind of temporary jail. And I had to share a cell with. Um, one girl who was like for sure a part of a gang, like she had, a, <laughs> she had a teardrop. Holy she had no, shit! No regrets on her chest. Spelled oh, correctly. Yeah. Spelled cor- wow. correctly. I wow. checked. I was like, <laughs> you fucking did it. <laughs> 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 Tattoos everywhere, and I was like, what? What'd you do? She's like, I, j- I try to set my ex boyfriend's house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I was like, why are we in the same? <laughs> oh. Room? Like sell right now. She's like, why are you in here? Well, I partied uh, at a football game and uh, (laughs) forgot to pay the ticket. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> She's yeah. like, bitch, give me all your money. Yeah, yeah. That's what that's when you start embellishing after that because you could see she's not vibing with it. You're like, and then I stabbed someone. Yeah, yeah. And then I <laughs> killed a bitch. Damn. So how long were you in there for? Just overnight? Well, I was in there all night. But then so what what they do, there was also a woman in there who was dressed like Annie, like orphan Annie, but she was fifty years old. And I thought she I was like, Oh, were you like did you come from like a costume party? And she was like, No, why? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> she's fucking alcoholic Annie. She's like, she's like, I try to tackle a cop. I was like, why? She's like, I thought I knew him. And I was like, why? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it was so weird. But then, so what they do is like, they don't give you a call until you sober up. That's yeah. why they were, because it's part of the like punishment process or whatever. And so lame. So lame. It took everything in my power to just refrain from a hard knock life joke. And I fucking, I just still had to say it out loud. You gotta do it. Do it. No, no. I just mean, I was like, I was just going to bring it up. (laughs) I was like, I was a hard knock life. (laughs) And and I was, I was like, come on, Ray, keep that fucking musical shit to yourself. (laughs) Even though you were daddy Warbucks in the eighth grade. It was super worth it to interrupt L story. I know. That was solid. Well, dude, my, my willpower was great. Is what I was saying. (laughs) Yeah. So good. (laughs) Until you gave in. (laughs) (laughs) It was good for a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> so you were in there and then you finally got to call someone? No. So because I called my mom when I was arrested because she answered. Yeah. Uh, she <laughs> she hired a bounty hunter to that. I have my mom is like from like Bumblefuck, like redneck Illinois. <laughs> and so she was like, I got to hire a bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like a bounty hunter in like Indiana, which is like some guy oh on meth God. who thinks it's like a game or something. <laughs> Founder. <Yo. laughs> Founder, she's locked up. <laughs> she's locked up in a jail cell. But um, so he found me and then that's and then my mom essentially bailed me out. <laughs> that sucks. Th- th- I mean, that had to be ridiculous for your mom to get that like 
crazy ass call and then you just disappear <laughs> and she know. can't get a hold of you again. They're arresting me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. be frightened. Yeah, yeah, if I was bad, I would be like, who? Who? Well, I, uh, police? Yeah. People? I guess she also didn't know what I did because I just yeah. said, help, help, I've been arrested. <laughs> you really didn't do shit. Kind <laughs> no, of, no, I didn't. Straight away. I didn't do, I didn't do nothing. I just had a fun time. Did you get to, <laughs> I didn't do nothing. Did you get to meet the bounty hunter? <laughs> no, I never got, to, I Fuck. didn't even know he existed. Until like a couple years after, she's like, "Yeah, I hired a bounty hunter." I was like, "That is so weird." He's like, "I'm gonna need a hundred more dollars if you want me to break her out of the joint." Such a waste of money. She could have just called the police. Yeah, You're like, "Hi, I believe my daughter's been arrested." Can't trust well, the police, dude. I guess there's a couple jails, so that's why. Because she's like, "I I wouldn't know what jail you were in." It's fair. Or whatever precinct. Were you too drunk to be scared? I was like, I wasn't scared. I was just like, fuck, this sucks. Like, yeah. My parents are going to kill me. <laughs> like, whatever. But um, I don't know. I didn't think like anything. I, and then I was like, wow, I'm going to have to do so much fucking bullshit community service to get out of this. So. That sucks. Yeah, it blew. Blue D. How old were you when that happened? Um, I think it was 19. Oh, so, right. yeah, yeah. It came. Um, also, tie back, uh, call back. Uh, if a person with Down syndrome gets uh, arrested for killing someone. And this is from Reddit. Yeah. So yeah. it's the truth. <laughs> Getting okay. convicted to a prison sentence is highly unlikely. They would probably be ruled mentally incompetent and put in some type of facility. See? Like a hospital yeah, setting. The yeah. perfect crime. The perfect, perfect crime. crime. Dude, if I had if I had DS, I'd just be out there committing crimes then. Have you Why ever not? killed somebody? No. Okay. But, um... What... <laughs> We always have to ask. Well, actually, it's our new thing now. Ray's uh, yeah. asking the guests if he's killed any, if you've, they've ever killed anyone. Has your mom's ever been like, if you killed someone, like I would still love you and support you? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's so fucked up. My mom did that. I was like, you're really creeping me out. <laughs> Don't. What a creep. She was like, I just want you to know, like, if you killed someone, you did it. Like, I would. I would support you and i would get you out of it she's like Can you say <laughs> like, the same thing to me because then i gotta tell you something yeah what <laughs> it's just like it's so specific i'm I like mean, she called a bounty hunter to get you out of an underage drinking <laughs> yeah. come on I, I figured she'd be the type to help you yeah. dispose of a body she's got a life she's got a yeah. life she's not telling you <laughs> yeah, about yeah. <laughs> she has a plan or something <laughs> set in place um but no a girl a girl did get murdered at my college actually really yeah did they yeah, ever found out what, what yeah, happened? Yeah, dude. Yeah, so it was my junior year. Um, so it was my junior year, and uh, what happened? So we have, like, little five. I went to, like, Indiana University, IU. Hoosiers. 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 And um, <laughs> second person this week I uh, met that went to Indiana. Actually, a handful of comics have. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Can she finish um, her story? Keep interrupting, <laughs> dude. Sorry, interrupting um, her with the weirdest stuff. <laughs> I, you guys are fine. I forget what I'm talking about. I so someone in your bit. college got murdered. Oh yeah, okay. Someone got murdered. So what happened was little five. Little five is like huge drinking weekend. You know what it is? No. It's like a bike race. It like mimics the Indy 500, which is like the big car race. Sounds okay. awesome. Yeah, it takes place in Indiana. So the I so IU we do like a bike race. And whatever. It's just a huge drinking, like crazy ass weekend. And so, and everyone's drinking from like four in the morning until like the next day. Like, love that. Very Fuck drunk. Yeah. And I guess so. This girl, she lived off campus and um, she reported like a guy sitting in, sitting in a truck outside her house and like just like turning his um, brights on, like in, directly into their windows. Oh. And this guy was doing this for like three weeks and they called the police and they're like, well, do you like have a license plate? And they're like, no, we, it's like too far to see the license yeah. plate. Yeah. And they didn't want to go outside or like they're afraid. And they're like, well, okay, we can't really do anything. Cause he's not even like, whatever. Um, he's not doing anything to like harm you. Yeah. He's just like, but it, it's so you, weird. You can't set a car there to be like, I know consistently this happens, like send someone to help us. Well, okay, so, so then, um, this happened so long ago. So, so then what happened, so it was Lil Five, she was coming, uh, the girl was coming out, out of a bar or whatever. This guy was waiting for her. He drives up, he says, I'm your Uber. He knows where she lives because he's been stalking her for the past three weeks. So she get a, gets in his car and he's like, oh yeah, I'm your Uber, I'll take you home. He takes her home. She walks in, he just follows her from behind her. Oh and she's like God. fucking 
blacked out and then he like he like she, he doesn't murder her there he's like attacks her and then he drags her out to a field like like out out like bumblefuck indiana and then he kills her in the field oh my Holy god fuck. yeah fucked up and um but then so they must have gotten his license plate because then the roommate called the police and was like my roommate's missing and then they matched that license plate up so they did get the license plate with wow. the guy they found his car and then yeah and he murdered holy her. shit oh my god yeah we were just talking about the we were just talking about how easy Lyft and Uber has probably made it to murder people if you want Absolutely. to. Jeez. Dude, I almost got kidnapped from a guy pretending to be an Uber. Like, it was, like, a similar situation. Really? Yeah, dude. In it, New York here? Yeah. Like, it, and I saved all my fucking friends. They, we almost, like, fucking, I don't know what have happened, but, like, God I, damn. I'm just, like, yeah. So What I, happened <laughs> with your friends? So, essentially, like, they're, so, they're drinking. They've been drinking for, like, an hour, and I meet up with them. I have, like, two drinks or yeah. whatever, but they're all, like, fucking drunk yeah. and it's pouring raining outside and this one girl her name was actually l she's visiting my friends from out of town and so uh she's like i'll get the uber every my my whole group's drunk or whatever and then she's like oh this is our uber again it's like pouring rain night so we can't really see yeah. we all get in the uber we're all piled in so it's like two girls up top four girls in the back like piled yeah and then um we're just sitting there. I'm like, why are we sitting there? Everyone's talking. And um, I'm like, are you our Uber? And he's like, yeah. He's like Latino. He's like, see, see, I'm your Uber. Like, let's go. And I'm like, he's like, well, where are you going? I'm like, shouldn't you know? Where's your fucking phone? And everyone's yelling at me like, L, you're being so rude. <laughs> like, oh my God, relax. And I was like, Wait, hold on. She's like, no, he's just going to take us wherever we want to go for free. And I was like, <sighs> you guys, hell no. And then this man locks the doors. After I'm like, hell no, everyone get out. He locks the doors. He's like, I'm taking you. I'm taking you. I'm like, no, you're fucking not. Oh, and everyone, my whole group is attacking me. They're like, you're being such a bitch. Let him take us for free. <laughs> Fuck you. And I'm like, fuck you guys. I'm calling the police. And then he starts screaming at me. He's like, don't call the police. I'm taking you. Like, it's this whole fucking chaos oh in the car. Oh, my God. And then and then I'm like, I'm calling. And then I get, like, really intense. And he's like, fine, get the fuck out of my car. He unlocks, and then we all get out. Because I had 911. I'm like, I'm, yeah, calling yeah. It. I'm calling him right now. And then, and then he kicks us out, like, screams at us, and we all get out. And my friends are still like, you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, th I think that guy dodged a bullet. Because if you would have fired off one call to your mom, that bounty hunter would have been there in three days. <laughs> and three to four business days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dude. looking for El Orlando. <laughs> yeah. And they That's said there would nuts. be meth. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting paid in meth. <laughs> yeah, You've been giving a lot of free rides here, brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's. it's <laughs> I like that they were still mad at you. Yeah. And they didn't even realize until the next morning. I'm like, you guys are like fucking idiots. So dumb. Yeah. So dumb. So dumb. Every time I see that, I see these dudes driving around all the time, like in the West Village mm -hmm. or like, you know, in East Village. And they'll just be like, Uber, Uber. You need yeah. an Uber ride? Where are you going? And I'm like, no, get no. out of here. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Also, it's like, to be fair, like, who's going to kidnap me? Like, yeah. for what purpose? But, you know, like, yeah. are they going to sex traffic me? And some <laughs> weird dude buddy. in, like, fucking Russia who's like, I'd like a 34-year-old man who kind of acts like a boy. <laughs> Would that yeah. be? That's what I like. Maybe uh, not with that confidence. Nobody's going to yeah, kidnap thanks, you. Thanks, right? you have a little more faith <laughs> dude, in you're yourself. You're always here to bring me up. I appreciate you're a cute that. cute guy. Oh, thanks, dude. I mean, I think they would, like, rob you for sure oh, yeah. right beat yeah. you up a little bit i feel like That's guys true. get beat up girls get murdered yeah <laughs> yeah at the very least they'd stab you or something uh, yeah. and take your oh, money dude yeah, that would yeah. beat yourself up that'd be late miss oh god they <laughs> miss rob but but then so then <laughs> That's the second musical reference on the show. Oh, I know. Wow. I just, uh, yeah, I, I love. Uh, that I'm breaks a, big, a record. Usually it's zero. I'm a big so. musical guy. I'm going to start I'm going to start trying to incorporate more musical talk on Sick, the show. Sick, dude. Yeah. Awesome. Troublemakers. and musicals. Oh, Jean, <laughs> Jean Valjean from uh, Les Mis was a big troublemaker. Actually. Was he? Yeah, he went to jail. Actually? Oh, I thought you mean in the movie? 
in the musical. Oh, in the musical, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought you meant like the actor got in. No, no, oh, no. Yeah, Hugh Shaw. Jackman was him in the movie. <laughs> right, right, right. He fucking never been in a trouble. Dude, I don't even know what the fuck you guys are talking about. <laughs> right now. You don't know who Hugh Jackman is? No, I know who Hugh Jackman is. He's fucking whatever. I'm sorry, I'm cultured. I know what a Bijan Freese is. I've seen a couple plays. Dude, this is why we need those audio bites right now, right? I would be <laughs> like, why are you gay? <laughs> Wait, that's great. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a. I'm not gay no more. I ain't gay no I more. Did you see that one? No. Oh my god, dude! It's this guy at a church, and they're like, "Okay, special, uh, you know, guest coming up, and he's been, uh, he's Conversion. been, he's been changed, and he wants to tell you about how he's been changed." And he's like, "Get up here!" And this like just chubby black man with a bow tie walks up. And he's like so calm, and then he just starts screaming, I ain't gay no more. <laughs> I am delivered. I like women's. I like women's. And then it's while you're watching wear. him do this, you're like, this guy is acting about as gay as yeah. I've ever seen oh anybody God, act what? in my life. He's like, I don't wear women's clothes. <laughs> I like women. <laughs> yeah, no one, no straight guy yells that out. Like, I don't carry a purse. It's like all the gayest things <laughs> that you could. How do you know all that? I don't, know. It's, <laughs> I don't put anal beads up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Not me. <laughs> Just all these super niche gay things. Yeah, he's talking yeah, about. yeah, yeah. He's like, I've never been to Harry's on Fifth Avenue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely don't go there. Yeah. Yeah, but the so the girl so the the weekend actually that um that girl got murdered. So my friend, she was um she was visiting me, actually one of the girls that was in that car. Mm -hmm. She's such a numb nut and we were drinking <laughs> great name. <laughs> we were drinking all day, but like this was so this girl got murdered on a Friday and then little 5 is like Thursday through Sunday. Yeah. She got murdered on a Friday and then the Saturday, my friend's visiting, and she's like, I know this girl got murdered, but, like, I do want to party. <laughs> and, and she's like, I am visiting you, so, like, you do have to drink with me. <laughs> yeah. Did the campus, like, shut down when that happened? Kind, like... <laughs> a little bit, yeah, but at yeah. the same time, like little five was they're like uh, they're like someone did get murdered, but we are gonna party. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we, well, how long we're did not it... gonna call it off? Oh, her, her friend was like, I did pay forty five dollars for a mega bus to come <laughs> so, here. So. How uh, how long did it take uh, them to catch the guy? I think like tw I think twenty four hours. Pretty quick, yeah, right? pretty quick. That's crazy because of the yeah. But then, so then we're like drinking all day. Okay, drinking all fucking day. We go back for a little nap. We wake up and G Gabby, she wants like, um, a, it's called like Big Mac. It was just like a mac and cheese sandwich. Okay. And I was like, well, I'm fucked up. I can't drive. She's like, oh, I'm good to drive. She's mm. hammered. So she's driving my car and she rolls a stop sign. And because someone just got fucking murdered, there's all these cops oh. around. Okay. And so then uh, she rolls the stop sign and there's like two like stop signs are behind us. A cop like goes on and he starts like following uh. us. Gabby turns to me and says, I can't get another DUI <laughs> and fucking floors it. <laughs> Floors <laughs> it. She's running from the cops in my car, and then she like she runs. She like goes down a couple of stop signs. She t takes her right. She takes another left. We're in someone's yard. She turns off all the lights. She's like, "Get out of the car." We get out and we're hiding for the next four hours. Holy oh my shit! God. Yes. Yo, yeah, dude. And it was it was. She was like, you know what? I was actually very drunk. And I was like, <laughs> no shit. <laughs> this is terrible. This is what a. I can't believe you got away. I know. Because we, we tried that before when we got pulled over by the cops to like do the like, like to outrun them and hide. Yeah. I, w I was in like, uh, I think I was maybe 20. I was like home from college with my friends and we were driving um, down the street after we smoked a bunch of weed. We weren't even drunk. We were just stoned. And you remember that song that was like. Loosen up my butt. Yeah. Bang. Oh, yeah. Hell my, yeah. my, we were all dolls. like dancing to it in the car, like cutting up. And my buddy has his hand on the steering wheel and he's like humping the steering wheel, like dancing and like swerving to the other lane. A cop is coming that way. We're like, fuck. So we start flooring it because we know he's going to, he's going to pull us over. Oh. We turn into some random driveway, shut off all the lights, and the cops come by and they immediately just stop. 
And while we're driving, my one friend threw the weed that we had on us out the window. Yeah. I don't know if it got like caught in the wheel or the wheel well, but the cops come and see us in the driver. They're like, this isn't your house. And we're like, ah, yeah, it is. They're like, no, we know who lives here. So oh. please get out of the car. And we're like, okay. So it's like, there was like seven of us in the car and we're all standing around and the cops are, they're kind of being like fairly nice to us because they don't yeah. sense that we're drunk or anything because we weren't. And they, they're not really getting the picture that we're fucking super stoned. And we all kind of notice at the same time that the bag of weed is like between us and the cops and they just haven't looked down yet. So we're all thinking about like how we can like stick our <laughs> foot out and swipe the bag back. And like none of us have the guts to do it because obviously that's going to draw attention yeah. right away. And the cops were being nice right when he sees that. He's like, what the fuck do we got here? It's a goddamn uh. bag of weed <laughs> up against the car. <laughs> so he puts us all up against the car and he's patting us down. And while he's patting me down, he keeps going, uh-huh, yeah. Having a good night tonight, driving like crazy and just smoking the old magic stick. And I start cracking up laughing because I'm high and he's calling it the magic stick. And I'm like, ah, he's like, what's so fucking funny, huh? The magic stick got you laughing. I was like, sir, I don't think you know what the magic stick is. He's like, shut the fuck up. And he's like, yeah, everybody wants to get high. And my buddy Adam just goes, it's a cock. A magic stick <laughs> is a cock. It was like, you know, it's like right after the 50 cents. <laughs> and none of us got really got in trouble except my friend got a ticket and well, actually some of us did get in trouble the one one of my friends like took the rap and got arrested because he had his mm. scale there he was the one that sold the weed mm -hmm. but i got out of there i got out of there scot-free yeah, none of us got a none of us got in trouble other than my friend who got arrested <laughs> oh, okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> i forgot nice. about that until now <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's always i feel like there was always one person that had to like fall for the weed like like i feel like i've gotten yeah like like in trouble with cops with weed before and one person has to take the fall from it and they get fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely I fucked. I felt bad for him, but it was him that took the, all the shit out of his pocket and put it in the like little, uh, seat back yeah. of the car. And then when the cops looked, they, that's what they found. Yeah. yeah. I fucked. Ah, uh, that sucks. RIP. But it was a whole conspiracy. <laughs> we had all of our, our, no, he's still alive. Yeah. Uh, we had our whole conspiracy. He's doing well. Yeah, we had all of our conspiracy fine. theories of like, what happened to, do you think they planted that bag of weed? Because we threw it out way before, and I was like, no. Yeah, <laughs> no. Part of me doesn't even think you threw it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Part yeah. Part of me thinks you'll wait until you threw it, because it was just, yeah. like, right behind the car. Yeah, well, no one wants to throw a bag of weed, because what if you get away? Yeah. yeah. Then you have yeah. no weed. 100%. Yeah, it was so you guys. I'm just so impressed <laughs> that you guys made it out with that move. That's really impressive. I think, I've thought about this a lot, and I have no idea, but I think it's because, um, so it was in Bloomington, Indiana, okay. you know, so it's like, it's small. It's like the downtown area is the same place as like where people live. Like, so it's like yards. Yeah. And it was also very packed that weekend. So there was all these cars and driveways. And so there was just like, and it's smaller. So like, I feel like she just took a couple turns and then turned off the car. And then it was like, you couldn't tell whose car it was. That's Gabby's so kind smart, of a badass, dude. Wow. I know. Dude, the, I, I can't never. get another DUI yeah, is dude. the <laughs> funniest thing to say right before flooring it. Yeah, dude, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't think I would ever do. I think if a cop like caught me driving drunk, I would never try to drive away. No. I'm, I'm too big of a pussy. I would never think. Yeah, I would just take my, you know. Then if you get caught, time. it's like you're so fucked. Oh yeah, because <laughs> well, like best case, like best case scenario, if you get pulled over, you might not get arrested. Usually yeah. you will, but like they might just be like, all right, one beer, okay, you're good. Typically not, but, you know. Yeah. Or we could have been like, we weren't paying attention because someone literally just got murdered. Yeah, Sorry. you could have <laughs> used that yeah. route. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, we know. We've yeah. been working. This is my 36 yeah. hour on right yeah. now. Yeah, you you, you could you could have been like, you don't got anything better to do but stop me yeah. from going through a stop sign. The cunty white girl yeah. move. I can get so cunty so quickly. It's like you just turn the whole situation on someone else. It's so easy, you know? It's like so <laughs> typical. You just gaslight the fuck out of them. Oh my god. Don't you, you do have that? better things to do than to arrest us? Someone literally just got murdered. Oh my god. It's like my, I could see it. It's very yeah. convincing. It's actually it's frightening, actually. My ex girlfriend did that to me when I got pulled over for rolling through a stop sign. And it was like, it was broad daylight. So we were sober and it was like in like one of like the hood neighborhoods that I grew up near. 
and the cop stops me and he's like being nice but he's like i just gotta give you a ticket and she's doing the are you kidding me this is what you're taking the time to do and i'm like please shut the fuck up i'm like you can't and at one point i like she keeps going and like drawing back and forth with him and i was like hey dude i've been dealing with this all day brother you know how it is. i know and then and then he's like okay well here and then i wind up the window and i was like Whew. That could have been worse. And I look over and she's just furious at oh. me because I was like making friends with like, I was like, because I, it, this isn't going to work if it was just her, it yeah. might work. But me being in the middle, he's just going to fucking yeah. hate yeah. me and make it worse on me. Yeah, but for yeah. sure. That's she was like, so she was like, funny. She was like, well, we're going to fight this. We're going to fight this. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus. Uh, yeah, <sighs> typical. It's always everyone else's fault. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. She was like, there's uh, probably literally a drug deal happening right over there. And I'm like, fuck, don't rat those guys out. Go, yeah. Dude, that happened when I fucking, I got, I got a ticket for vaping on the subway platform. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, Broadway Junction, which is a really bad area. Uh, two stops past. I, I missed my stop. I didn't know you could get... A ticket for that? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Better oh, stop wow. vaping. I, you know. Actually, Tyan, I've told this before, but I missed my stop because it was like 1.30 in the morning and I was watching uh, these two kids with Down syndrome. They're these two brothers. Yeah. Marley and... and uh, yeah, yeah. Jack Burke sent it to me, so I was watching it and I missed my stop because it was so entertaining. I was like, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> and uh, went past <laughs> two in the morning and I'm vaping and uh, yeah, they gave me a ticket. I was like, dude... It, it, there are guys doing crack like yeah, downstairs. <laughs> yeah. What are we talking about? Come on, dude. Yeah, That's what insane. the fuck are they doing? Like they know, like giving you a ticket. Mm -hmm. It's like, mm -hmm. why? I Just got caught. I, I I stopped jumping. I've been jumping the turnstiles for like a year, and I finally got a ticket. Oh um, yeah, they tried. They tried to ticket me too. I jumped, and they're yeah. like. They like came out from the shadows. They thought they were so fucking <laughs> smart. <laughs> They're like the military when they have like all the pain yeah. on their face. <laughs> yeah, they we literally saw you. they were literally hiding and they walk up and I'm like, you guys are fucking douchebags. Like, <laughs> I can go on. seek. Just fucking yeah. yeah did this have to they be a Navy you? SEAL operation? No, they gave me a warning, but they made me miss two trains. I was like, you know, That's you're gonna give me a part. warning. Just let me go. And they're worst like. Part. Well, we have to think about it for a second. I'm like, oh my, just fucking shoot me. <laughs> That's so annoying. I've done that where I'm like, ah, you got, can I just go pay? Sometimes they'll let you do that. But once so they... Who cares? Yeah. <sighs> the cop was like, oh, you're pretty good at... They were very nice, but he was like, yeah, you're pretty good at that. And I go, he goes, have you ever done that before? And I go, no, no, sir. Beginner's and luck. Because <laughs> it was pretty good. And I go, thank you so much, man. I've been working mm. on it. <laughs> like, all right. But yeah, I, I think once they saw that I also had the vape uh, ticket, mm. they just gave me the, but it goes up after you get, so I stop. I have like the one, but once mm -hmm. you get like the one, which is a bullshit, they didn't just give me a warning. Um, I think if the price goes up, the ticket goes up. Great. Oh shit. Yeah. I think three is when it starts to get bad, but who knows? Uh -oh. Besides the arrest and uh, evading DUIs, have you, got, have you gotten in a lot more trouble or? More trouble. Um, that's I mean, a pretty crazy, actually. So far, those. Stories, well, that's what I'm saying. Stories. I'm like, holy shit! What else? What else does? What else does she got going on? Here? I um, I don't, I can't really. I, I wrote some down, but one it one was in third grade. I um, <laughs> actually, so my mom did. Someone tried to murder my mom. Really? Isn't that crazy? That's fucking. God, that's damn. really fucking crazy. Yeah, she um, so. Dude, was, no wonder you're like, guys get beat up, women get murdered. Yeah, no. <laughs> Seriously. No wonder. <laughs> Absolutely. She she was at college with her sister. She was like living in an apartment. And she basically wakes up to a guy strangling her in her apartment. And he's like completely naked. And so he's like trying to fucking kill her. Oh and then, my God. And my aunt Jane, like she she's like the heaviest sleeper. Like so I've been to parties at my cousin's house where she's just sleeping upstairs and there's like a full high school party going <laughs> on, like just one floor down. Like she does not wake up. That's me. Yeah. And, and she woke up somehow. She comes in my mom's room. This guy's strangling, strangling my mom. And then the guy looks at my aunt Jane and just freaks out and then just like runs away. Oh my God. She didn't even do anything. Yeah. And then my he mom was like, I don't want her to see my dick. <laughs> yeah, and like, he ran. He got oh. all embarrassed. Don't look at me naked. <laughs> Dude, I will say it was nice of him to take off his clothes so we didn't get the outside clothes on the bed. That was thoughtful. <laughs> wow. Of him. Yeah. Very wow, thoughtful, very actually. Very thoughtful. <laughs> Yeah, and my mom, my mom's like religious, so she tries to like put like a religious religious spin on it, yeah. you know. And she's like, "God turned 
my sister Jane into an ugly devil that was so scary <laughs> that when he took one yeah. look at her, he ran away. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure Jane loves that fucking interpretation of her story. Oh my God. She's like, no, it was just three in the morning and I was hung over. Yeah. Like, what yeah. are you talking about? Sorry I didn't have any makeup on when I went <laughs> yeah. to sleep, God damn it. I took my wig off so I wouldn't <laughs> fuck it up. He thought my sister was so fucking ugly. <laughs> I don't know. She's like, crazy. She's like pulls her aside. Like, do you have to tell everybody the story like that? Do you have to yeah, always yeah. add that I'm a three headed devil. Yeah. What? No. That's insane. I know. Holy shit. I also think it's kind of narcissistic. I'm like, do you think God wants you to live <laughs> that much <laughs> that he's going to? It's like, no, we got to protect Dana. Oh, God. That happened. That didn't happen to me. I've told this story before, too, but I was in Italy with my family and I woke up to a guy just like standing in my bedroom. Ooh, we were in so an Italian middle. guy. I think, a, uh, I think a gypsy, a gypsy. I didn't see him because I woke I? up. You know when you like wake up and you think you like there's something in your room, oh. but it's like it's like the towel hanging up yeah, or all the time dude. the coat. Yeah. I woke up and I like we're in the in the middle of nowhere, Tuscany, like in this little villa, right? Yeah. It was like top of a hill, and uh, five in the morning, I wake up, I like flip over and I open my eyes and there's just a guy standing there. And I start like screaming and like lunge at him and he like just bolts out the out the door and uh, I start I like start yelling in the middle of the like like room lobby or whatever yeah. and uh, everybody's waking up. My brother thought I was sleeping, like having a nightmare or something. Oh my god. We go downstairs and like all the doors are wide open. Um, they took my backpack, my brother's, and then yeah, it was nuts. The cops came. There Dude. was my brother's like, were you in on it? I was like, relax. <laughs> we're not getting arrested in an Italian oh my God. foreign country. <laughs> really ruined Italy for me. All those fucking wow. dirty, disgusting people. Yeah, um, wow. What's up? They're fine. I'm <laughs> part Italian. I could say that. I'm 1.9% Italian. Really? 1.9? Per 23 and me. Oh, yeah. wow. Forget I don't even want to know. Like my my family, we like, uh, my dad's like, yeah, we're Italian. We're Italian. My dad is like, he's like half Italian, half Irish. Like we're not that Italian, yeah. but that it's just like the attitude that he's adopted. Or People like, love yeah. being Italian. They love oh, being yeah. Italian. It's their favorite thing. Wait, it's, and it's just like, yeah, it's way more cooler to be like Italian over like Irish or something, you know? Yes. It's the coolest thing to be, it, probably. It, well, Polish, I think, is the coolest thing to be. Polish is pretty cool. Hell yeah. We're both, yeah. We're both, we're both <laughs> Polacks. My, like, I did that 23 and me. Thank God somebody got it for me as a gift because I think it's like $120. Yeah, I'm not doing it. And somebody got it for me as a gift, and it just told me no new information. <laughs> yeah. It was like, you're 99.99% .99 white. Yeah. I was like, sick. I was like, thank like, you. Mostly Polish. I was like, yeah, man, what the yeah. fuck? I was like, we know. I knew know. that from looking in the mirror. Yeah. Every time you look at that, you're like hoping for something that's going to help you on your taxes. You're like, oh, I'm Native American. Something in there, you know? Or, <laughs> Does that help you on your taxes? I don't fucking know Who how knows? anything works, dude. I haven't paid my taxes yet. That's a problem. You got to do that, buddy. Yeah, we'll figure it out. No, my, my tax lady's cat died, so she um, extended it. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. These people. I these people, dude. These fucking people. I didn't mean to share that, but these it's people, the truth. Dude. My uh my grandma's did the twenty three me and one is like kind of Israeli and the other one is Ashkenaz. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Cause she was adopted, so she really didn't know. You got a little Jew in you. I'm a little Jewish. There you wow. go. Yeah. Yeah, diverse. <laughs> I'm just like say it here on the pod. We'll get more, way more bookings coming yeah. your way. Here we go. I mentioned I mentioned it a little bit on a, on another pod that we did when my aunt did it. My mom's sister they found a half brother. Oh, really? Through it, yeah. He was uh. So my my grandfather, my mom's dad, had some nefarious activities. Uh -oh. Um, they already knew about one sister that he had with this lady, but then there was a dude, and they must have put it up for adoption. But this all they're all like around the same age as my mom and her siblings. That's crazy. Wow. Damn. His name was Kurt. He's like a rocket scientist. I That's had fucking brilliant. I had a neighbor that they did that. Um, they were adopted, and they ended up finding like all their sisters, uh, like a, yeah. another sibling or something, which is very nice. Did I ever tell you a story about my neighbor having like uh, he had I think has dementia? Yeah. But he was so my neighbor, a very nice lady, older, had husband died. And then remarried this other guy. Always an asshole. This guy was always such a dick. When I was like 12, we would like chip golf balls in yeah. my front yard. Yeah. And like, I remember if we would like, 
go to his property and then we'd chip it back. And you'd be like, get the fuck off my property. <laughs> so I was home like a year ago and I'm sitting in my car or my whoever's car I was in and I text my brother. I go, dude, I go, Sonny's outside in his underwear. I go, what the <laughs> fuck? And I took a picture and I like sent it to Lucas. I was like, this is hilarious. He's got these fucking tidy whities on. I found out after he has like dementia. I didn't uh, know at the time. Uh, you're just I was like, trolling. I was like, what the? He's fucking taking the people. garbage out in his underwear. I used to live next door to two blind people. What well, was this one blind woman? And she had three different husbands in the time that I lived there. And they were all also blind. And I remember we were playing in the yard. We were playing like kickball. And somebody kicked the ball hard as fuck and it s- cracked their window like super oh, no. hard. It didn't break it, but it like you would have heard it in the house. Yeah. And the guy comes out onto the porch and I just go <laughs> to all my friends. And we just stood out there. He's like, who was that? And he starts yelling and we were just quiet the whole time. And then uh, he goes back inside. We laugh hysterically. And I tell my stepdad at the time this story. And he goes, yeah, yeah. He's like, uh, he's like, I used to moon the wife all the time. Oh and then we find out a couple years after that, that she had like partial vision. She oh, knew that he that's was mooning her. So bad. Dude. Know. Um, can I finish the story about this guy with the mention? Yeah, sure. I thought it was over. Oh, well, no, dude, this is the, I'm in a big interrupting phase. You are, life, you know, dude. and I, I was just... letting you go. Um, <laughs> so season. fast forward, dude, I found out they've been married for like 20 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's got cameras in the house, like ring cameras or whatever. Mm-hmm. They see on the camera that this guy, this like guy in his like twenties or thirties, keeps showing up there, and they oh, think creepy. he's there to help. He was fucking this guy, this like old elderly <laughs> man with dementia, Dude, was having an no. affair with this like 20, 25, no. 30 year old guy, and like she like saw it on the oh camera, came home, confronted them, like found them in the house together. My mom told me this, and she's like, "You can't tell it on the podcast." Wait. And I was like, <laughs> "Absolutely, I'm telling it on the podcast." Are you kidding me? So this young guy was fucking this old grandpa. Yeah. That is so fucked up. Yeah. I don't know if it was like a dementia thing or like he was actually, maybe it was like he's been gay his whole life and like the dementia, he like forgot that he was hiding it. That is so, you got to be so fucking crazy to do that So we got kicked out of the house. So now he's just like 85 with dementia, like. I don't know where the fuck he is now. Oh. He's staying with his, his little dude. Oh, yeah. You think that guy, that guy, he had the attitude of like, this was the only place that he would have like a roof over his head for a period of time. Like, yeah, <sighs> like a homeless guy. Oh, my God. Hooking up for shelter. <laughs> that is that's so fucked up, dude. Yeah. I uh, yeah, I haven't had any neighbors like that. <laughs> yeah, this is my neighbor uh, on Long Island. Yeah. That's so crazy. We just mooned a couple blind people. This sounds like a fucking rape and a dementia guy. Well, you know, listen, I didn't do it. It was, you know, another guy. There's so many people with like weird ass kinks. That's like, that's like a kink, like hooking up with like old people, like really old people. That's like a thing. Have you heard of that? Like a lot? I mean, like milk. No, but (laughs) this one girl, her, her, um, the guy that she was dating, he was like into like herding cats. Her cat, like, hurting animals. And he, like, over time, he, like, was, like, destroying her cat. <laughs> like, by, um, like, he would choke it and he would, like, punch it and stuff. And her cat was, like, losing all this fur. And she's like, what's happening to my cat? It's, 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 like, it's like, dying. He's it's getting like, off on it, like, sexually? I mean, I don't know. She didn't know it was happening until one time she left for work and then she forgot something. So she came home. She walks in on this guy, like, strangling her cat. And oh, she's my like, God. And she's like, what the fuck are you doing? And then he, run, he like, ran out the door and he's he was, like, gone. And never then, seen him again? Uh. She never saw him again, but she did call the police and they caught him. And now she has, like, a restraining order. Holy shit. Do you think when she walked in the door to yell at him, the Lord turned her into a scary <laughs> devil? <laughs> so that he would leave? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that must have been oh what happened. My God. That's what God does when somebody's getting strangled. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's crazy. That yeah. is weird. That, that I was, mean, that guy's a murderer. That was probably. a guy from Hinge. Hinge. Oh. Hinge is pretty good. Are you you are, are you on the dating apps now? I do Tinder. I don't do Hinge. What's what, You don't like Hinge? Um, I'm banned from Hinge. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what's up? I'm banned Yo, from Hinge. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> yeah. I mean, How'd that happen? 
Cause okay, so it's so stupid. It's <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, no, it really is. Um, I so like um, I saw like Emil uh, Joachim on Hinge okay. like a while ago, and I saw he like added his show pictures or like his you know show flyers for like on his page, and he was just like, just come to my show. Like yeah. I'm not trying to date. And I was like, oh, that's smart. Hilarious. And so I was like, I'll do that. Cause I have, I'm like, I have a couple shows coming up that I'm producing. So I did that. And then all these men were like, fuck you. You're not using this. You're not being serious. You're not taking it seriously. Oh. I'm reporting you, blah, blah, blah. So I essentially got kicked off. Damn. <laughs> because guys were like getting upset that I was like trying to promote my comedy show. That's crazy. And while Emil was, like, getting, like, 20 tickets sold <laughs> every single time, <laughs> men were like, this fucking bitch, the disrespect, you know? Guys are... <sighs> were you still using it for dating, too, though? No, not really. Hilarious. I mean, it's like, a Hinge, uh, I'm never going to meet someone on an app that I like. I never have. They're all weird. <laughs> They're all, everyone on right. apps are trash, except for me. <laughs> oh. That's, I feel the same way. I feel, you know, I'm, you know. Sometimes it feels like. It feels like, weird. Like discount people. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. you're weird. Well, you, you, it's uh, everybody's going there because they're so disenfranchised with every, all the shit that they've been through. You know what I mean? So everybody's everybody's going in there with some fucking baggage. Sure. Yeah. Except it, Dylan and you, obviously. Yeah, no. Except not me, but, us, but yeah. it's just it's just hard to also like I'm I'm very much I'm sure a lot of people are like a vibe person. Like I can't yeah. just like judge off pictures if we're gonna get along. Yeah. I, That's why I love Zoom dating. During COVID, the uh, Zoom phone call for like the first date or two was great. Yeah. It was a great like way to suss people out. You do a quick Zoom call and then uh you know you went about your day. I, I did like 10 Zoom calls and like two of them led to dates, which did was you? great because that's 10 dates that I didn't have to spend money on. That's true. And yeah. then the actual two people, three people I met were awesome. They were really cool. We got along. We like dated. Did you for date? A, like not um, one of them I dated for like a couple weeks, like maybe like two or three months. Um, okay. And I liked her. And, but I got a serious girlfriend out of Hinge. Oh, really? Like, yeah, like my current girlfriend we met on Hinge. Oh, that's cool. It happens. New I York mean, is way happens. different, I think. New but, York's a bit of a nightmare. But here's yeah. the thing. I met her on Hinge, and she had been on Hinge for like two months. And I was probably the weirdo that had been on a little longer, not like you. But okay. uh, but but she uh, she's from like kind of where I'm from. So I, mean, okay. I, th I think that it was kind of like, I don't know, it just was a really good fit. But yes, most of the time it's pretty. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's like it's just like a gamble. It's like it is trying to like close your eyes, walk out on the street and then pick the first person and be like, yeah, I might yeah. connect with it. It's, it's such true. like a uh, shot. But I know people that just got fucking married from Hinge. Like, it's yeah. pretty wild. I mean, that's yeah. crazy. I definitely there was there was a weird run, though, that I had where like. Yeah. A bunch of girls that I were I was like casually seeing from Hinge, where we would be like hooking up for a while, like from a few weeks to a few months. Yeah. Um, but like never seriously dated. The people that they met immediately after they were seriously dating and then engaged slash married. And I was like, I'm like, good luck, Chuck, out here. Yeah, I was oh gonna say God. that's a Dane Cook movie. I know. Wow. But it was a weird run where like I would stop seeing a girl and she would immediately get married to the next person. Wow, that's, I was like, that's weird. so strange. The is weirdest it? part of it always is that you're talking to somebody so long before you meet them. I just always not think me. That's so I try weird. to go like, "Hey, that's smart. Let's go out. Are you free this week? Let's get." Yeah, a drink. I don't like to text. The more you text, the more like weird it gets. Yeah. The more weird it gets, and then the the first date, it's like you, you're like scrambling for topics. You're like, I don't know how to talk to you yeah. if you're not a screen. Yeah, <laughs> so. I want to know nothing. I want to be like, "Hey, what's up? How we doing? Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, let's you know? go." Yeah. Have you had uh, any weird interactions with people on uh, dating apps? I mean, for sure. Like, because um, guys are weird. Guys, guys are, are weird. really weird. I mean, like one guy, um, he like watched because I put my my Instagram like on my profile because I don't like 
guys really it's they say it's not a red flag it's being a female comic is a red flag for like almost <laughs> everyone except comics because they're not they don't think it's weird but like i think guys like because it's like you're you go to my profile you look at all my videos i'm being dumb and being silly like yeah people aren't used to like putting all that stuff out and so i don't know i feel like they think it's a good idea and then I tell them and then they're like, um, I kind of don't like this at all. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. said, you've, you've had somebody say that? No, they just huh. kind of like disappear. Like, Damn. you know, like yeah. after I, t but anyway, so my, um, Instagram's on my thing. And I thought this guy, this guy was like hot. He was cool. I thought he was cool. And then we were texting like before, like the day before the date. And he's like, oh, I, I, I watched your reels. Like I saw the short guy bit or whatever. I say I like to date short men. Yeah. And he was like, do you think uh, short guys have like smaller dicks? And I was like, what? The, before I even like met up with this guy, I was like, what? Why? He's like, I just feel like I'm just curious. curious. And I was like, that's like so really strange. gay yeah. for you to ask. <laughs> And not to mention, proportionally, it's going to look bigger because you're so That's short. That's so strange, dude. And I was like, and he was like, I'm just curious. And I was like, yeah, but like, why do you want, it's just a weird, he's like, it's not gay. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and then he like, and then I was like, this guy's weird. And then he like hit me up one time and he's like, I'm outside Brooklyn Comedy Club. Do you want to hang out? And I'm like, no. Had you Ugh. never met him before? No. I didn't so tell strange. him to That's go. That's strange as hell, dude. Yeah. I wasn't knew, even at Brooklyn he, Comedy oh, Club. That would have been even uh. worse if he like knew you were there and was like, hey, I was going to come see your show. Yeah, it's so weird. That happened with Ray. Yeah, some girl showed up. What? Are we not allowed to talk about that? No, we can talk about it. Dude, Oh, yeah. Ray yeah, like hooked yeah. up with a girl and then I was at the show and he goes, dude, that fucking girl. He like ghosted her kind of. And then she just showed up to the show with her friend. Dude. And there was like, it was like a seven person show. Dude. It was like a bad bar show. And the friend that she brought was super hot. And I was oh. like, right, right, right. Let's just hang out and talk to them <laughs> yeah. and it'll be fine. Don't be so crazy. I was right? like, let's get the fuck yeah. out oh, of no, here. Yeah. No, let's hang for a yeah, minute. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like let's I saw, know I, him. I saw her walking in. I was like, oh, fuck, she probably, that sucks. But she's probably just here for a drink. And then I see her go into like where the little back room where the show is. I was like, I'm, I'm, like, I think I'm sick. I have COVID. <laughs> but I, I did it actually. I mean, it was, she was like left. Did she talk to you afterwards? No, because we left right away, right after Crazy. my. Set. And she never messaged you after that, right? No, she didn't. But she did do something really funny. Is I like put something? I put like an old picture of me on. It was like Halloween was coming up. I put an old picture of me up on my story in a Halloween costume, and I said, "What should I be for Halloween this year?" And then she put a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> that's Stop, pretty funny. That's uh, so good. Oh that's my god! Hilarious. And I didn't respond to that though either. <laughs> in true fashion. Ooh. Yeah, you can. Yeah. It's so good, dude. That is funny that. As hell. That's great. That's great. If she did didn't do the show thing i would say she left it with a bang but yeah, yeah. the show kind of yeah brought her set her back a little bit oh my god it was tough um hey we're above an hour that was that was a great episode oh, do you have anything yeah. else you want to say or do uh, any other things before we start to wrap um like like i don't know how do you feel you feel good oh, i feel good i feel good i, feel oh, good. I, feel I never like know how can... to end it i oh, always yeah, say like can... you know but um we talked yeah. about dead dogs it was graveyards a, that was a great episode i loved it <laughs> um yeah you can uh there there tell uh, all the people where they can find you if you have anything coming up this okay. will be out in i think two weeks Okay, that's what's up. Um, follow, um, not, oh God, I just fucked that up too, guys. Oh, I fucked you Start guys. Start the episode <laughs> over. <laughs> like, we cut gotta it. Cut the whole thing. Hey, everybody, it's welcome trash. to the Troublemakers <laughs> podcast. <laughs> follow. No, I have a podcast called Sad Tits. Check it out if you want. Uh, you don't have to follow it. With but, Lily. Yeah, with Lily Michelle, yeah. Um, uh, another comic. Super fun. Um, I also, I'm hosting a show um and producing a show june 28th at strange ways in williamsburg so go there if hell you yeah want. so grab some tickets make sure to follow l you're on instagram at yeah at underscore l orlando underscore oh, hell yeah. <laughs> i know dude 
Dude, can you I tell you? You have to hit shift to follow her. It's yeah. so shift annoying. underscore. At L Orlando exists as a name, but like it's not assigned to any Instagram. So someone's just fucking holding on to it, assholes. That's so annoying. Give me that fucking Instagram name. That's, That's very powerful. Annoying. So annoying. Well, you can find me on Instagram. There are no <laughs> underscores. It's at Ray B. Killing them. Uh, and I am, worse, actually. I am here. I can't change it now. I don't know. Um, and I am here every uh, Wednesday on the Troublemakers podcast with my good buddy, Dylan Krasinski. Where can they find you, Dylan? You can follow me at Dylan Krasinski on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all that stuff. And we post so at Troublemakers uh, on all that social media. We post clips four or five, six times a week. So check those out. And uh, go follow well. We'll see you next week, baby. Bye. Good night. Bye.